Dear friends, welcome to St. Petersburg University, the oldest university in Russia, which will turn 300 years in 2024. We will have a virtual tour through a three-century history of the university. In January 1724, the decree signed by Peter the Great established the Academy of Sciences, University and Gymnasium as its part. That's when the history of the university education in Russia started. Till the end of the 18th century, the university was within the academy. During this period, educational and scientific traditions were established. Later, the university became a genuine cultural, scientific and education center, a place of democratic and humanistic ideas in Russia. Back in the 18th century, many professors were invited from Germany. Some were famous scientists. Lectures were in Latin, that's why there were few students in the beginning. Besides, there was no clear or strict system of faculties or academic program. Students just enrolled for lectures and chose professors they liked. The first rector of the academic university was Gerhard Friedrich Müller, a German historian, professor and academician. He studied Siberia and participated in the second Kamchatka expedition. He loved Russia very much and considered it his second homeland. The second rector was Stepan Krushininikov, a geographer and explorer of Siberia who gave the first full description of Kamchatka in the early 18th century, which is still relevant and significant. It was even reissued in 1994. The third rector was Mikhail Lomonosov who made a significant contribution to the development of the university in Russia. He made projects on the university organization and started teaching in the Russian language. Lomonosov asserted the right of the lower class to study at gymnasium and university. Unfortunately, in the late 18th century, the academic university began to fade away as the pedagogical education came to the fore. In 1819, the Emperor Alexander I decided to renew the university in the capital of the empire, and St. Petersburg Imperial University was established on the basis of the main pedagogical institute. The term of study would become four years. The university received a charter and a clear structure with initially three faculties, law and philosophy, physics and mathematics, and history and philology. The system of faculties was borrowed from German universities. In the 1830s, the university moved into the 12 colleges building, which was the main building of the Russian Empire in the 18th century, because it housed the new government structures, the Senate, the Senate and 10 collegiate serving as ministries. The building, designed by the brilliant architect Dominika Trezini, was 400 meters long and consisted of 12 separate parts with their own entrances. They were united only by the roof and an open walkway spreading along the whole building. In the early 19th century, as the result of the public administration reform, the government structures changed and moved out of the building and to the other side of the river. Then, in 1830, the 12 colleges building was given to the university. Of course, the building required some reconstruction for the university purposes. The brilliant reconstruction project was designed by the architect Apollo Chudrin and implemented in the 1830s. The architect managed to make a common building out of 12 separate pods to house professors' apartments and canteen on the ground floor, classrooms and library on the first floor, and student dormitory on the second floor. The architect constructed the main entrance, a vast staircase leading to the first and second floors, and a beautiful assembly hall or ceremonial hall on the first floor, which became the center of cultural life of the university. On the second floor, he built a university chapel, St. Peter and Paul Church. The chapel would play an important role in the spiritual life of the university. Christing and wedding and funeral services were held there. The only survived 18th century interior in the 12 colleges building was and is Peter's Hall or the Senate Hall. Even nowadays you can see the decorations made in the 1730s in the style of Petrian Baroque. The most amazing part of the reconstructed building is the corridor. 
It is one of the iconic images of the university. The architect made the cord out of the open walkway gallery spreading along the 12 parts of the building and thus connecting them all and creating a common area for students and professors. The length of the corridor was the same as the building, 400 meters. The corridor has beautiful Venetian windows in the style of Petron Baroque and original bookcases installed in the 1830s. They keep a part of the university library, numbering 7 million books now. This is the third largest library in the city and one of the best in Russia as regards to collections. In the middle of the 20th century, the corridor was decorated with sculptures and portraits of outstanding scientists and cultural figures connected with the history of the university. The Faculty of Law was the most popular and the biggest one, numbering half of all the students. It opened the door to any state service. Besides, it gave you the best humanitarian, white, classical education. They studied philosophy, economy, logic, psychology and ethics. Many of the law graduates became artists, musicians, writers and public figures. The Faculty of Oriental Studies was established only in 1855, when the foreign policy of the Russian Empire required diplomats and translators with knowledge of the languages, history and culture of the Eastern countries. The greatness of the Oriental School at St. Petersburg University was well known in European universities. The 19th century became the golden age for the university. Outstanding scientists worked there and world-famous scientific schools were established and developed at the university. For example, Chabashev in mathematics, Lenz in physics, Mendeleev in chemistry, Mechnikov in embryology, Sechinov in physiology and many, many others. Pafnuti Chebyshev is a well-known mathematician, extraordinary academician and the founder of St. Petersburg Mathematical Scientific School. He designed unique mechanisms in the second half of the 19th century, which formed the basis for inventions in the 20th century. He designed more than 40 mechanisms and about 80 of their modifications. He used them as teaching aids in class. Dmitry Mendeleev is a genius Russian scientist of chemistry. He formulated the periodic law and created the periodic table of elements. He established the first institute of chemistry in Russia in 1893. The scientist spent 35 years of his life at the university. On the ground floor of the 12 colleges building, there is the memorial flat and archives of Mendeleev, opened in 1911. On the 24th of March, 1896, the first radiogram in the world was sent from the building of the Chemistry Institute to the Jodapurm building, 300 meters away, via the instrument created by Babov, a graduate of the university. The radiogram consisted of just two words, Heinrich Hertz. Thus, a new means of communication was created. Women could not study at the university. Since 1859, they were allowed to attend lectures, but they didn't get a diploma. In 1878, a university-type female higher education institution was opened, the Higher Women's Courses. The first director was the historian Bestuzhev Rumin, so they called the institution Bestuzhev Courses. Formally, the courses were independent from the main university, but the university program was implemented and professors from the university taught there. The term of study was initially three years, but later it became four years, like the university one. In 1919, Bestuzhev courses merged with the university. Around 7,000 women graduated from the courses during their existence. Among graduates, there were many outstanding scientists, writers and social activists. The university was always a center of free thinking. Since the beginning of the 19th century, students went in for different social and political movements. Of course, the university residents fought not only for the future of the country, but also for the independence of the university, especially against the ministerial bureaucracy. The writer and philosopher Chernyshevsky and the representative of the utopian socialism Budashevich Petrashevsky were graduates of the university, and they influenced the students significantly. 
In October 1861, in front of the university, there was the first political demonstration in Russia. The participants were arrested and sent to the Kronstadt Fortress. On October 18, 1905, there was a protest of many thousands of students against the October Manifesto by Tsar Nicholas II. For the university, as well as for the whole country, the Great Patriotic War was a severe test of its physical strength, brain power and moral courage. Thousands of students and professors went off to war. At the same time, all faculties, departments and laboratories launched research work on the execution of defense orders. They also helped in the city. In March 1942, the university was evacuated in Saratov, where it organized its scientific and education activities under rough conditions. The small staff that stayed and besieged Leningrad managed to preserve the great scientific and cultural values of the university. In June 1944, the university returned from evacuation. Within a short period of time, damaged university buildings and premises were repaired by students and professors, and classes were resumed on October 2, 1944. St. Petersburg University is famous for its graduates who brought fame to our country in all areas of science, politics and culture. In fact, the occupation of these outstanding graduates and extraordinary personalities is not always directly related to the profession acquired at the university, but this only emphasizes the highest level of university education, its quality and features, to bring up a bright, independent and creative personality. Many graduates of St. Petersburg University became renowned artists and musicians, poets and writers, third and political figures, scientists and sportsmen. The discoveries and achievements of the university professors and graduates have become part of the history of both international and Russian science and technology. We have eight Nobel Prize laureates and two Fields Medal winners, the Mathematician's Nobel Prize. Well, the Nobel Prize winners are in Physiology and Medicine, Pavlov and Mechnikov, in Chemistry, Smirnov, in Physics, Landau and Prokhorov, and in Economics, Leontiev, Kantarovich and Pisarides. The two Fields Medal winners are Perelman in 2006 and Smirnov in 2010. St. Petersburg University became the alma mater for many leaders of our country. The current ones are Vladimir Putin and Dmitry Medvedev. They both graduated from the Faculty of Law in 1975 and 1987, respectively. Besides, Dmitry Medvedev completed postgraduate studies in 1990 and afterwards taught at the university for a year. St. Petersburg University has extensive international relations. International meetings and forums take place here regularly, especially in the beautiful Assembly Hall or in the Peters Hall. In 1994, Queen Elizabeth II came to St. Petersburg and visited the university. In May 2002, university students had a meeting with the US President George Bush and Russian President Vladimir Putin. In 2003, Chancellor of Germany Gerhard Schroeder was awarded the title of the Honorary Doctor of Law at our university. In November 2009, St. Petersburg University received its special status a unique scientific and educational complex, the oldest university in the country of great importance for the development of Russian society. The university has now the right to issue its own diplomas. Well, since the establishment of the university until the present days, many research areas have arisen here, which become classical or internationally renowned. The university scientists conduct researches in almost all areas of knowledge. But not only scientists and students of the university, but also colleagues from all over the world can use the numerous university resource centers. The university is open for cooperation and is actively integrated into the global scientific and educational environment. St. Petersburg University entered the 21st century with a vast store of values collected for three centuries, the main of which, alumni, who never lose touch with their alma mater.